Massive changes are coming to the builder base. First of all, the base is getting split. You probably already heard that, but there's also a new hero. We have the new battle copter. We have that and so much more to talk about in today's video. So let's go dive into it. So with the base being split in two, there are a couple new buildings over here at Otto's Outpost that you need to be aware of. First up, we have a new army camp. This is the reinforcement camp. It is different from a regular army camp. This one only provides troops for the second stage of the attack, and I'll show you what that means when we get into the actual attack. Over here, we have the healing hut. This is going to make so any troops that survived the first stage of the attack on the other half of the base are going to get some healing. At max level, it's going to recover 24% of the HP of all of your troops. The second stage of the builder base is going to unlock at Builder Hall 6. That's when you can drop Otto's Outpost, and that's when you get the healing hut and the new reinforcement camps. So, your main base and your Otto's Outpost are going to have to have all the buildings split between them at this point. So, you're going to have a limit on both sides here of how many of each kind of building that you're going to be able to drop. Walls are limited to 100 per side. Now, walls are also going to be made so that you put them down in single stacks instead of groups of five like we had before, which is uh, kind of a big deal. I think we're going to have a lot more versatility and a lot more creativeness in bases. We're not going to be forced into a couple of cookie cutter designs. So secondly, we have the defenses. Now you can see that there's a counter in the top left hand corner that shows you how many defenses you can continue to drop on that stage. If I go to the other stage here, that counter goes back to zero and I can put down my own set of walls over here and I can put my own separate defenses and I can split up those defenses however I choose. Now there are a couple buildings that have to be on one side or the other. For example, the healing hut has to be on the auto's outpost. You have to put your reinforcement camps on the auto's outpost and you have to make sure that you uh, put the Bob's control unit, which is just a replacement of the uh, master builder hut there that we had before. We're also going to be limited to 12 traps on each side and then each individual other building will have a limit. So like if you have any building that has multiples like a gold mine, it looks like I can only have one gold mine over here. And so I'd have to go over here and I could place the other two. And so there are some restrictions on what you can put where. So now that we understand how the multi-stage base is set up, we need to learn how to attack it. So let's go over how all the different troops here are changing for Builder Base 2.0. You can swap out the troops as normal at the start of the attack here, but you can only see stage one at the start of the attack here. You can't scroll over to Otto's Outpost, so you have to judge based on what you can see here, what you need to throw at the initial base, because whatever's left over, whatever survives will get healed up by your healer hut, and then head over to the second base and start attacking it. When you get your uh, reinforcements, you'll also be able to boost that army there a bit, but you don't know what's going to be over there unless you're a good judge of what is on this base. So let's start by going through all the different troops here, you can see that the Barbarians, they rage up for 22 seconds on drop. And unlike before, where we got 20 of them when they were at max level, we're only getting four of them here. But every individual one is significantly stronger than before. But as you can see, they're still vulnerable to some spring traps. We have the Sneaky Archers, which also come in significantly lower numbers here. We only get four of them as well. And also, I want to point out that we only got two minutes on the attack timer here. So, slow Sneaky Archers attacks are not going to be like they were before and i guess technically people could use, still use them but i don't know if i'll see them as much as we used to so now let's go over to the boxer giant notice how the boxer giant on his troop bar has that purple bar some of the troops are going to have activated abilities some of them will have rechargeable activated abilities so the boxer giant hits its initial target there really hard just like normal but when you pop his ability he will actually go invincible like he's under a Grand Warden Aura, so he can get a bit extra damage there. Maybe he can tank for some troops there and get through more. All right, so now the minions. The minions are one of the troops that didn't really change very much there, but obviously when you have a base that has potentially less of the air defenses, then you're going to be able to maybe pick up a couple things that you weren't before. So use them strategically. Maybe we could use them with some of the airships like before. Hard to say exactly, but let's take a look at the bomber. Bomber had a really interesting change here. Bomber, when we use his ability, it is activated and it throws a big bomb that bounces. Once it's not used, he throws small bombs as normal and his bigger bomb will have a chance to reset if you can keep him alive and protect it. Now, baby dragon is really interesting. If I throw the baby dragon over here, it'll start rage like normal. But on top of that, if I pop its ability, which is only usable one time, he throws a cone AoE. So last but not least, we have the builder machine, which we're going to have to start an attack here because we're out of time. 
So when we start the fight, even if you changed your troops around in the middle of a previous fight, they will default back to whatever your army camps were. So you don't have to change them at the start of every fight. You can have a default army that you want selected and then you can customize it as necessary. But we're gonna swap over to all the other troops that we haven't seen yet. And we'll make sure that we can show you how all the new special abilities are going to work. So let's start off by showing off this battle builder or uh, builder machine, whatever it's called. Uh, so <laughs> he's gonna drop in and he has three different charged up abilities. The first one is exactly the same as what we saw in Builder Base 1.0, but if we let that charge up a bit more, then he can do significantly more than that. So he's gonna chip away here at these troops and let that ability charge up a bit more and a bit more. As he gets to stage two, it will do a chain lightning on every one of his strikes here that hits two buildings. But if we get him all the way to stage three, we can and pop that and now we're getting a chain lightning that hits two additional targets so that's working for every different time he hits his uh, target there and he gets three strikes that are charged up there so it takes a lot longer to build it up there but it can do significantly more damage once he's cleared the way we could go ahead and drop in a cannon cart here and I can drop its wheels and we can take advantage of a long range so you can see here that I dropped its wheels a little bit too soon I want to pick him back up here and then I can drop him here before oh Ideally, before we get into the range of the defenses, but as you can see, you can easily mess that up there while being very, very powerful is very vulnerable. So we'll drop its wheels down here again, and now we can take pro. <laughs> okay, okay, now are we good? Now are we good? Now? Okay, we're good now. <laughs> oh, and now we're getting targeted by the lava launcher. All right, well that one's gonna be tricky. We gotta keep an eye out for mortars and lava launchers, and I feel like a lot of people are gonna spread these out to both sides of the base here. So let's power through the rest of these. Which is when they drop and use their ability, they can rage up their bats. They can send a wave of raged bats there, which can do a lot of damage. We have the drop ship that when it reaches this target, it's gonna be able to have an option to activate a big bomb. As we see right there, boom, big bomb does a ton of damage. Pekka has an ability that when I activate it, it's going to cause a lightning surge. And then baby dragon, when I activate its ability, it's going to cause like a cone of fire damage. And then hog glider is the same as before. They're actually the only troop that was not reworked. So now that we have a synopsis of what everybody can do, we need to take it into a structured fight. So seeing as this base has both the Mega Tesla, the air bombs, both of the crushers, and it has three of the firecrackers. I feel like I kind of want to go with a ground attack here, but I need to play it a bit more strategic. So I'm going to take out a couple of these uh, cannon carts here to try to trim out the left side of the base here. We're going to go in with some boxer giants just to get some extra tanking up front, and I'm going to get some barbarians to go with the boxer giants as well. I think a couple of camps of them should do some good work here. So let's go ahead and get these cannon carts moving to the base here. We'll try to outrange a lot of these defenses along the left side and see how far we can get in here. So just use both of them. I feel like we can use both of them right here. Let's go ahead and drop them down, anchor them, and go with some longer range shots here and try to... Specifically, I'm going after the crusher here to try to get out of the way here while I'm also outranging the... What do you call it? The lava launcher here. So if I can get that down, we're in a pretty good spot here. Looks like we're locking onto it now. So we should be able to take it out here shortly. Then we can pick up our wheels and make our way into the base. So I want to pick up on the outside of the base. It looks like we're getting that uh, that lab out of the way there. So that's good. We'll get ready for the boxer giants to go in now. Let's see if we have any more targets that we can claim over there. Looks like we are good. So let's go ahead and send them. We'll pick our wheels back up. Let's get a barbarian here. And let's get our battle machine to go in behind them. We'll go ahead and pop the ability on the first boxer giant since it's the one that's actually taking the damage. And the cannon carts are staying pretty safe right now. So I'm not really too worried about them. I'll drop in more barbarians to the outside of the base. We have our hero ability charging up more and more. We have our other boxer giant starting to take some damage. So I'm going to go ahead and pop his ability now. We'll pop the hero ability and try to get through a bit faster. And we'll now start to collapse in the backside here with the barbarians. And we'll keep on moving strong. I don't want my... Uh, Cannon carts here to run into any problems in the backside here. So I'm gonna, I think I wanna save troops and prevent them from going into the 
Crusher right there. So we're looking pretty good here. We can pop the hero ability and now we can go to stage two and we can see how we do over there. So timer stops and now we go to stage two. The troops that died are going to stay down and the troops that survived are going to continue on. So over here we have the reinforcements which looks like I can swap out their troop type and so I'm going to actually swap over to the the copter here and we'll see if we can see if we can take out the backside with some support of maybe some drop ships drop ships and copter yeah we'll try that i'm gonna rush the air defense on the left side here and make sure we get at least a two star and then we can use barbarian to maybe rush in here and get this last one off of the back end so let's go ahead and drop over here and we'll get this uh copter down and we will just kind of coast our way in initially all right let's get a maybe a barbarian over here to go grab out that now the barbarians already used their rage so they obviously can't use it again for the ones that we actually dropped did we drop them all i'm pretty sure we did drop them all so there's not a lot of defenses over here you'll see that we actually have a pretty smooth entry into the base and it's going to be a lot smoother than we saw on that other side so i like that it'll be get the barbarians onto the they're not <laughs> lasting very long there i hope we can actually pull through on this but we have our hero ability all charged up here so these what are these <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're little like remote control car looking things here. I have my ability all the way charged up here. Let's go ahead and pop it now. And we surge in and into the, or past the storage there and into the air defense. So we got to get this Tesla off of my back here. Oh, I still have a cannon. I still have a, oh, I'm going to drop this. Drop its wheels. And I should have done that earlier. I should have done that earlier. Let's go drop our last barbarian here. Go and drop a uh, surge forward. Oh, we didn't get a very big charge on that one, though, so we didn't get a lot of damage output. But I think if I would have realized that I had an extra cannon car, I could have already been working on this backside air defense, and we would have been able to take it down. So we're not going to get a six star on this one by the looks of it, but we could have if we played it better. Looks like we have some Tesla popping up there as well, so we got bigger problems, I guess. But that's how Builder Base 2.0 is going to go. Very interesting, very cool, lots of new stuff, and some cool new hero reworks with all the tree works as well. So if you guys want more sneak peeks, then join us back tomorrow. We'll see you next.